I'm recording this after the video. So, uh, I realized that the background, uh, while I'm doing the little computer thing, is uh, not great, but I fixed it. Um, yeah, it, it looks all right now. Uh, so when you're watching the video, just sort of transpose this background onto the background that was. Enjoy the video. This is uh, part two of the first video. I'm here back at my house. Uh, I am working on a project of mine. Got a bunch of broken computers in my garage and I like mixing and matching parts to see if they work. I'm trying to get them to work. Got this here, uh, my state of my room. It's a bit terrible. Got a motherboard here, uh, the Acer variety. It's DDR3. Uh, it's got like a 240 watt supply. <laughs> this is a pretty old computer. Old to me. Um, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. So, I'm gonna try and boot it up. I think that the power supply or the motherboard might be shot, but we're gonna we're gonna put this fan on and see when I plug it in if the fan spins on or if it's dead. In which case, I'm gonna try and replace the motherboard, or not the motherboard, the power supply, because I have another one. But that other power supply might also be broken because I stole it from a friend because uh, he had a bunch of old computers in his garage, but I don't know the state of those computers, so here's hoping. Um, I'm gonna step down some, one more, please. I'm gonna stick down some thermal paste. I don't know what brand this is. BD Hardware House Inc. I don't know if that's a household name or anything. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver real quick. Got a scepter screwdriver. This came with my monitor, or one of the monitors that I have. So we've got a, what model is this? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna rotate it because it's kind of plugged in already. We've got a Lighteon. Uh, it's got 80 plus bronze rating. It's got uh, 240 watts. Uh, what version is uh, I don't know what version it is, but it's a Lighteon power supply for 240 watts. Pretty old one. Uh, it's early 2010s, I think. The CPU on this thing is a i3-4160. One second. I three forty one sixty. So it's a not the not the highest end piece of technology. But I'm gonna stick the power supply on. I'm gonna put a bit of this on because if it works, I might want to. Actually, no, no. I'm gonna live wild. Like I'm not gonna put the this on because I might take this off later. I don't know why, but it's just a momentary test. Actually, no. Problem. I will put it on because that would be uh, annoying to take it off and put it on again uh, just because I didn't want to take a couple seconds to put a doll up here. I'm going to set up the, the camera. To... This is expert camera work, as you can tell. Uh, so here is the CPU. I'm going to put dollop on it. Hope I don't mess this up. Okay. So that's, that's about how much you want. It'll spread out because it'll, it'll be pressed really, really thin by the, um, it'll be, so the, sorry for the camera, uh, the CPU fan, it's a, it's a flat block and it'll press right up against the CPU and we'll spread that out so you don't want to put too much on it otherwise it'll uh, it'll get out uh, and get on your motherboard and if it's uh, conductive it'll it'll mess up your 
electronics. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to stick on the fan and then plug it in. Where is the CPU fan slot? One moment. So on most motherboards, they have multiple of these, multiple power ones. But on this one, since it's a cheap um, office model, I think, it's only got one. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I'll look back over it when I'm done filming this, but uh, it might show the thing that I was trying to show. Okay. You will get a picture of my chin. It's good. Make sure to arrange it because the fan kind of, because it only has a certain amount of length, so depending on where you put it, it might be a little awkward trying to plug it in. I think I'm going to do it this way, with it like this. Uh, make sure to place it carefully on the little sockets on the motherboard. This isn't a tutorial. I don't know why I'm narrating it. Uh, I'm just screwing in. This isn't even in a case um, needed to be super secure. I'm just going to put it in a bit. Um, try not to strip your screws. That would be bad. Did I say it was a CPU 4160? I believe. So this is just a stock fan. Uh, I hope when I turn this on, it doesn't electrify my bench and then zap me, because that would be bad. If that happens, this might be my last video, but hopefully not. Okay. I think that is on decently enough for our purposes. We're gonna plug it in. Ah, let's put the cap on though. I don't know if that's a push on or a screw on. I'm just gonna push it on. So this is running, I think four gigs of DDR3 integrated graphics card on the motherboard. And it's got uh, currently no monitor. Um, I don't know why I plugged a mouse into it. It's just sitting there. But yeah. Power cord. One power cord. No, if this doesn't, if the fan doesn't turn off, that either means that the cord is broken, but I don't think the cord is broken because I've tested this before, uh, or the power supply is shot. And if the power supply is shot, I have a replacement power supply, but I don't know if that one's shot. I've said that before, but just reiterating. Ooh. put this on something so I don't kill my or hurt myself I don't know if this is conductive I hope not but I'm gonna put I don't think it's conductive okay I'm just gonna put it on and hope so I'm gonna put the motherboard this thing might be broken I don't know I don't know if it is but I'm gonna put the motherboard on the book so I don't electrocute myself then I'm going to plug the power supply in. So it's plugged in. Oh, fuck. Sorry. The uh, CPU fan didn't get stuck in. Make sure to do that. You don't want to leave things unplugged. Because that'll really mess up any of your builds that you're doing. So again, yeah, double check to make sure everything's plugged in. Um, there we go. So with the plugs, they have a certain um, orientation that you need to place them. So be careful about that. Because they've got little guiding rails on there to make sure they're put on properly. Let's see if the CPU turns on. If they're not, no fear. We have one more step, power button. That is just a wire. Fingers crossed. It 
it lives. I did not expect it to. That is strange. It's There's a light, the CPU fan is on. There's no blinking lights saying that it's about to explode. Uh, one second. Oh, nope. Won't do that. So yeah, sort of kind of works. I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna plug it into a monitor. So this has VGA. Uh, this is my build. It's got a bowl on it. Uh, I'll leave that till later. I'll, I'll talk about that another time. But, uh, dusty. Uh, yeah, it it's, uh, should be working. I'm gonna plug it into an old monitor I have. Oh, I'll see you in a second. So this monitor is a pretty old uh, 17 volt one by Acer. Uh, I don't know the specs on it. I can look that up when we get in there, but we'll see. I'm gonna plug it in, see if it works. Or if something else is bungled. on. All right. Let's see if it does graphics or if it puts something on the screen. Nobody has been electrocuted. Let me put my hand into active electronics. Oh, this thing doesn't have a hard drive. I'll be back. <laughs> SATA cable, old hard drive. I don't know the password to this, but hopefully it'll boot. Uh, shit, hold on. Okay, so there should be SATA ports on your motherboard. One, there's three on this one. And you're just gonna make sure that it's L-shaped, the port. Just make sure that matches up with the thing you're plugging into. I don't know which one of these are primary, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. I'm, that, I'm probably not going to be using this for anything. For anything. Um, then there's power. There's the information, or the data, SATA. I don't know the technical term, but... Data, power, this one might be data. No, never mind. I got it backwards. This one's power. This one's data. I don't, I don't know. So make sure there are L ports on this one as well. So make sure they line up. Oh, shoot. Should have done it the other way. What the hell? Yeah. Hold on. Give me a second. It's in. And there's power coming directly off of your phone brick, power supply. It also has an L port. Make sure that plugs in nicely. This thing now has a boot device, or any device to boot off of, because it did not beforehand. Uh, got this here. Pegatron. Very funny name. Uh, it's a pretty old one. I might stick that in here. Put a, make a early 2000s gaming computer, see how it runs. But uh, it's a, I think this thing has like 512 megabytes of RAM. So very powerful. Very powerful indeed. So I'm going to hook this up. I don't know why I cut. It's just one plug. Ooh, that zapped me. Ow. Okay. Um, 
It didn't exactly. I felt it though. That uh, that was unpleasant. It turned on. That is the hard drive turn. I'm gonna put my hand on the hard drive. Hold on. I don't know if you can't see the screen at all, but it's showing BIOS setup. Put that down there. Get out of here. You find a, a keyboard. Okay. That is a very. Uh, it's just on max. I don't know why. Uh, okay, don't explode, please. Um, I think you can probably hear it. It's rather loud. Slightly alarming, but that's okay. We're gonna continue. Uh, Cause I, uh, I don't have any um, self-preservation instincts, I guess. Okay. I'm scared of putting any part of my body over this thing. Cause if it explodes, I don't want um, new holes. That would be, that would not be great. With it. Ooh, don't fall over. Oh, actually, that's good. Hold on. No, not the fall over, but okay. Gosh, go. Damn! I don't know what I unplugged. Here's my headset. As you can tell, this is my first time making anything. Okay. It's uh, not the best quality film. I'll try and make it somewhat okay in editing, though I doubt my skills will be anything incredible. I'm gonna stick this in here so I can start typing away. So, here, talking about uh, detected okay so I'm gonna hit delete to enter setup I hope you can see the screen just to hold on I'm gonna set it up here oh jeez can some uh um, unfortunately, but that's or not my room. My uh, all the crap I have on my dresser. I'm trying to prop this thing up. Okay, that's not gonna work. that's it. Okay. I'm just gonna hold it here. I don't know if you can see that. Can I zoom in? I cannot zoom in. That's okay. I didn't want to zoom in. Why would I want to zoom in? <laughs> this is such a Okay, all right. So this system, uh, I, was, I was right, early 2010s. Uh, it still thinks it's in 2013. I don't, I'm gonna put the camera closer, but it's still not gonna be good. This is a cell phone. Oh gosh, I don't wanna, I'm, I'm very scared of the very fast spinning fan. Uh, I'm gonna move this over. Then I'm gonna put my elbow here. And then you can kind of see it. All right. Damn, this is... Okay. All right. All right, so you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, it's got an... Yep, i3. Oh, what's going on? No, I don't want to change system time. What's going on? Oh, never mind. That's not selectable. Okay, that's not configurable. It's got two cores, 3.6 gigahertz, which is actually like six gigahertz more, 0.6 gigahertz more than what I've got um, uh, before I overclocked it. Cause I think I was running 2.8 or no, that would be 0.8 gigahertz more than I, what I was running. So that's pretty good. So this is the main, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna mess up the time. I'll do that later. Advanced miscellaneous uh, H. 
think this is the USB port. So I think that what AHCI port two. I think that's my mouse. Uh, okay. How do we go back? Yeah, hold on. It's skip. Okay, there we go. All right. Power. Uh, this thing speak really fast. Authentication, secure boot disabled. That seems alarming. I don't know what that means. Change supervisor. Okay, create new password. I'm going to set it. Two, one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Please don't explode. One, two, three, four. Confirm new password. One, two, three, four. Press enter. Installed. Okay. Change user password. Create new password. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, sick. All right. Th I think that means I can just get into this. Ah, uh, what uh, what boot is it using? Hold on. What uh, what system? Uh, what's the BIOS? Okay, build date twenty fourteen. I don't know what Windows this is running. I think Windows not. Was there a nine? I can't remember. But boot options, yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm going to save and exit. That's good. Right, let's, I'm going to put you back here now. This is going to be a long-ass video of basically nothing, but that's all right. Maybe, maybe I'll set you up like here. Ooh, 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 that's, ooh. Hold on. I'll get. Oh my gosh. I'm putting you on the mug. My phone stand is a mug. Oh, gee. Ah. Okay. You can just reset. I'm gonna. Turn it off. Turn it back on. See if it boots. Will you boot? Oh, it's going on. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do one. Oh, I'm blocking it. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, F12? It is not booting up, I think. Hold on. Let's try again. I turned it off. I don't know if you can see the blinking white light. Let's turn that back on. side. Yeah, that is. Wow. What's going on? What's that sound from? Okay. I think it's broken. Yeah, you can see that. I don't know what that means. If you know what that means, leave a hint down in the comments. That'd be helpful. Uh, this is Jack TV. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, it booted. I think I messed up something in the BIOS, but I don't know how to get back in there uh, to reset it. So if you guys know anything, leave a comment. Tell me what I did wrong and why I'm dumb. Thank you. Good night.